Hello guys, uh, I'm busy building the Charo tank, tank, sorry, from uh, Mini Art, and uh, I will do uh, a full build and so, but I will not show where I put. I, how to build it. So, um, like you see in the unboxing, I did some copies of the instructions. Sorry about, about the white balance. But, like you see here, uh, I each time marked uh, the colors. And when I cut a piece uh, of uh, the spool, I mark it. So that I forget, that I forget, and that's done. That's oh. C13. C C thirteen. So let's put one moment. We'll look for something. Yeah. So need still need part C fifteen. That was not planned. Uh, but I shall do it. Uh, like so. So that's off and fine. why I leave uh, such a big knob uh, on the part and that is because I'm painting for the moment almost all the parts separately uh, just like those two I will put together uh, that's two parts I put together I, the logic parts I will put together the other parts I don't put together and so I have a big attachment point it doesn't go anywhere and like you can see it's on the bottom part uh, once painted and I cut it I don't need that I will need to touch up it if I need to put some paint on it's easily done cut it, sand it a little bit with a steely stick uh, I have more what you find what you also can do I, I don't if you see I cut some pieces off so it's a bit smaller uh, I know UMP also has some uh, sheets sort styrene with sanding paper on I was thinking of buying them but the shipment cost to Belgium it's really high and just for that purpose so what I'm thinking to do uh, maybe tonight tomorrow I've got some styrene sheet uh, one mil 
sanding paper, glue two, those two together and I will try something like that. But now you see part is nicely on a stick. Uh, what did I do already is Clamp it down for drying. It's that bit of the engine. There's a very small part that needs to go on top of that knob here, and that's part. Uh, from spool CA number 23 but the problem is the connection point was I not molded like it should be with a little hole in it uh, it was more of a, a cone I tried to make it like I should fit but after the second time yeah after the second time it went ballistic it went ballistic so it's gone and I don't think that little part is good metal uh, the engine itself is aluminium uh, I don't think uh, somebody will see it I can al always put a little dab of gun metal there on the top I just now saw uh, because I handle it a lot to place the parts on that some aluminium has gone so I will need to do a bit of retouch so that part and a little part here of the engine that go on one side is done uh, then for a moment uh, it's that uh, number three all the parts um, no yeah just like you saw I need to put that part on the engine that part but on here on the wibbly sticks it's that piece so it's the main wheel that rotates the big tire the external tire so those are painted just need to paint the wheel rubber black and it will be done. I paint them uh, by hand. Uh, it's not a full coverage. You see a bit black, but uh, that will be nice with some weathering. Uh, here on the wheels I will or do a little wash or a panel line accent color I think a mix of black and uh, brown or an interior wash that I will see uh, what I have here oh, no. that's 
so I think something like that and then I can put them together and then the big job for tonight is sorry I will remove those two parts so prime all those parts those two hula hoops I need to prime uh, then I will uh, paint them um, the parts that will be white uh, it will be easier to do um, I have some uh, white primer and all the rest black primer uh, detail painting will be by hand uh, I know some guys each part one drop paint airbrushing cleaning airbrush up other paint to no um like airbrushing but that's a bit too much for me so guys that is uh, the point I am I will see you next time for a little update where I am uh, I hope uh, all those parts are also ready to prime just those are still on the spool oh sorry those ones are still on the spool and here some little handles are also still on the spool but I will be happy uh, for the next time I will be over here uh, because putting all those two rings together will be fiddly I think so but we will see how I do it and what how it is and I will let you know so guys we'll see you next time and uh, if you like you subscribe sorry you don't like let me know uh, if you want to see something in detail and it's still possible no problem I will do it on the next vid so guys see you next time bye